What's going on guys and gals? I'm out here on this American Standard unit and it was not running when I got here. No power coming in over there. Fuses and everything are okay. But the main breaker was tripped at the panel. So we're gonna whip out the mega meter here, take a few readings because when I took my compressor windings loose and just ohmed all of them out with my regular meter, I got some kind of funky readings. So we're gonna see what's going on here. I know everybody's always asking about a mega and which one's good, and I always have had good luck with this field piece. You can tell it's the old version because it's that old gray plastic. They're yellow now. But I'm just gonna find a good spot to hook my ground up to down here. I'm gonna try to hook it onto the main ground of the unit down there. If you can see it. So we've got a good ground there. And then you see my other red lead is kind of laying right there on the metal. So when we turn this sucker on and push measure, I should get a real low reading, probably zero here, close to it. It ain't touching quite enough. So there, there you see zero because we're going straight from ground to the metal there. So now let's try our windings one at a time. We just got to make sure that they're all separated, that nobody is touching anywhere. Okay, so there we're on black. Let's give her a shot. That don't look good. Well, huh. okay. Now we'll go ahead and try our red. Hmm. Now let's go ahead and hook on to the orange. wire just does not want to stay over here. Come on, cooperate. All right, there we're on the orange. Same thing there, that's kind of weird how it jumps up to 90 and then back down. Okay, so what we're gonna do here I'm gonna go ahead and tape off all my compressor leads. Just leave them disconnected. Then we're gonna go back there and throw some juice on the breaker and see if it will reset. Give me just a second and we'll be right back, guys. All right, so we just went ahead and taped our wires up there just to make sure nothing creeps down and touches while I'm in here at the panel box. We're gonna go ahead and throw our fuses in. And then we're gonna head back in here and try to reset this thing one more time. See what it's gonna do. It's getting ready to come a torrential downpour here in a little bit. So I'm just trying to run quick and sneak it in before the rain gets here. here double pole 30 I've got it off right now she's staying set now it tripped immediately the last time I did it I even saw a few sparks fly so let's just run out here 
and we'll check the voltage make sure we do have voltage make sure I didn't blow a fuse a while ago and if we got voltage coming in down here at the bottom of our contactor then we know it's definitely the compressor that's causing us to trip it didn't even try to start it didn't make any kind of sound or anything it just tripped immediately and the like I said the ohms resistance when I just used the regular meter from lead to lead went common to run common to start and then run to start I got some really wonky readings oh there we go that fan motor didn't sound too good you can see the fabulous job somebody did putting that thing in that was a little delayed starting up there all right so we do have full power there the fan was a little suspicious coming on because that was kind of delayed but it is running so that's definitely the compressor this baby is not going to live to fight another day oh that's a heritage 11 2003 that is a little two-ton. Oh, well. The lady said it's been doing this for about a month. I don't know why they waited to call that long. I'd say she had some pretty high power bills this winter. I'd say the only heat she was getting was just electric heat. This has probably been this way for a while. The outdoor unit hasn't run in who knows how long. But it is what it is. All right, you guys, I'm gonna call this one the compressor. I'm gonna take the top off probably and dig down into the wires a little bit more look at the terminals and everything but i don't think that's going to be the issue we're internally bad in there but anyway i'll have to go break the bad news to her and then i'm going to try to avoid the rain the rest of the day all right you guys thanks for watching like and subscribe and i will catch you on the next one see ya